this is a mistake. Hi, I'm Corey, and if you're here, uh, you are probably as curious as I am about some recent uh, food crimes that Craft Dinner Canada is unleashing on the local population of, uh, of Canada. Before I go any further, just a point of clarification. In Canada, we have something called Craft Dinner, and everywhere else it, that I know of anyways, it's called Mac and Cheese. Uh, it looks ugh, like this. This is Craft Dinner uh, here in Canada. It's fine. You know, by by design, it is fine. If Kraft have enough uh, flavor engineers to come up with some absolutely buck wild things, hold on, let me pull out the box. Like what we're gonna be trying today, like uh, butter chicken, jalapeno, buffalo wings, poutine, ghost pepper, and of course, everyone's favorite, cotton candy. Uh, they could have engineered Kraft Dinner to be an extremely good flavor eating experience, but that's not what they did. They want Kraft to be good enough that you forget how mediocre it is. It's the McDonald's style of food construction. So Kraft Dinner is Kraft Dinner. It's, it's vaguely cheesy, it is a pasta, it takes very little time to cook, and is safe for uh, young people who don't know how to use a stove very well and drunk people who shouldn't be using a stove very well uh, to create. So. Uh, Kraft, a little while ago, uh, have become completely unhinged, uh, and have decided that their regular Kraft dinner is not, uh, good enough anymore, and they need to kick it up notches. So, uh, I found out from, um, my mother, my brother, and me, through Munch Squad, which is a podcast within a podcast about the latest and greatest and, uh, food crimes, basically, um, that Katie was putting these out. I literally paused the podcast, went onto their website, and ordered a six pack because I am an idiot probably so anyways here they all are so what I plan to do in this video is I'm going to have god help me seven bowls of this stuff and so I'm gonna have six with the flavors and one that's just standard craft dinner um, as I guess a control and uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna review, I'm gonna talk about them. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, I'll be right back with six, seven bowls of craft dinner. Okay, I'm back. I have just spent a lot longer in the kitchen than I thought I was going to making all the flavors of craft dinner, uh, as well as a control flavor, which is just your straight up mac and cheese and a bonus flavor as suggested by someone in the discord that I'm in that is all of them mixed together. I don't know why I did that. I, I just instantly caved. Let's get this started. So first up we have our control. Uh, I'm going to apologize. I work, live more or less in my basement and um, the lighting down here, it's a little on the warm side. So you're not going to really be able to, to capture the full color um, vibrancy that you're going to get with this, but we're going to start with your standard mac and cheese. This is no flavors added. And tastes like mac and cheese. How did I describe it? Mac and cheese is a, or craft dinner, whatever you want to call it, um, is pasta with like the memory of cheese mixed into it. It's not good. It's not bad. Like I said uh, earlier, it's kind of engineered to be mediocre. It's good enough that like you'll eat it and you're not gonna be like, oh my god, but it's not so good that you're gonna want to keep craving it, which is kind of the point. Um, because you can actually get overdone with flavor, um, which is why companies like McDonald's and, and Kraft make their food to just be fine, because you'll eat it, it's fine, but it's not gonna like exhaust your your the memory of your fl of the flavor um so you can go back and eat more of it like an idiot so yeah bog standard mac and cheese now on to the actual flavors uh so first up i have butter chicken so once again whoop, there's your butter chicken packet now opened and I, I do actually want to give Kraft credit where it is due here, with the exception of the poutine, which has other a lot of other stuff in it. The ingredients list on all of these are shockingly easy to read. 
which means there's not a lot of like wildly fake chemicals in it. All of them feature like, except in one of them, I can't remember which, um, features like a preservative and that's it. Everything else is like, like I've ripped the label here so I can't read all of it, but there's actually like turmeric, just straight turmeric. Like there's actual things in it. So I'm gonna give Kraft the credit where it is due. These are not as wildly processed as I expected them to be. So yeah, butter chicken, here we go. So there's your butter chicken. Let's back it up a little bit so we can get a, any kind of attempt at focus. There we go. So butter chicken actually smells like butter chicken. I don't know how to feel about that, but. All right. Oh no, it's, it's pretty good. Um, okay. It has an actual spicy kick to it, um, which I wasn't expecting. It's not unpleasant. It's just, wow, this actually has some kind of actual spice to it. Um, I don't know how accurate I would say it's necessarily to like actual butter chicken, but it's, it's going for it and it's not bad. This one though, I will say didn't mix as easily as some of the other ones did. So there's still a bit of a, a graininess to it. Um, that maybe if I spent even more time or added a little more milk or whatever, um, it would have worked out uh, a little bit better, but actually, It doesn't suck. It act. It, it's wow. Color me impressed. That that's not bad. I also uh, just want to point out that the uh, instructions for these, all of them, are the same. Uh, it's two steps. One, prepare a box of craft dinner, which I have tried to do as accurately for each box as possible. So, same amount of water, same amount of cooking time. Uh, roughly the same amount of, they say margarine, I do butter because whatever, um, and like a third of a cup of milk. And I did that for all of them to try and make sure I wasn't like diluting the flavor or doing anything weird. So uh, all of them are basically prepare craft, a uh, box of craft uh, dinner, and then add full pack of seasoning mix and stir until incorporated. So yeah. Okay. Next up, uh, we have poutine. Back it up a little bit. There you go, camera. Very good. So the poutine, as I recall, has, this one had the most stuff in it, uh, which kind of makes sense because it's supposed to have like more cheese flavor to it. Um, that's specific to poutine. Poutine is uh, a Canadian dish. I know it's all around the world kind of at this point. That's effectively uh, fries, cheese curds, and gravy. That's it, that's what it is. It's not shredded cheese and it's not blah, blah, blah. It's not cheddar, it's, it is like a, a uh, just a white curd cheese, squeaky cheese, some people call it, and gravy. So, here we go. Well, that's not so good. Um, coming off the tail uh, of the the, uh, the run of the butter chicken, this is not very good. This, um... oh boy, hold on. The best way I can describe this is that, and I don't know, I, I never thought I'd say this sentence out loud, it tastes like fake gravy, which pfft, I've never, I never thought I'd see the day where I would say that, but there's something about it that tastes distinctly off. I think it's missing some of the kind of, perhaps the body that, that real gravy would give you, that kind of like, uh, you know, viscosity that you get from, you know, gravy, which is effectively a, a rendered fat. And, you know, spices and stuff. Um, and this is lacking that, and it's still, it's, I definitely mix this one enough, and it, it, it tastes chalky. It doesn't have a mouthfeel of chalkiness, but it tastes chalky, which is a really weird thing for my brain to have to parse. Yeah. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan of that one. Um, would not recommend. So, so far, uh, butter chicken, good. Poutine, not good. Okay, uh, now, uh, next to flavors. I tried to arrange these in a way that kind of made any kind of sense so that I wasn't getting completely uh, flavor blasted, I guess. Next up, 
I'm going to do uh, buffalo wings. So, buffalo wings, this is the highest salt content one by large. Like, by, like, this has 160 milligrams and a quarter pack. Uh, so, I don't know, do your math there. The others have, the next highest one is like 45, and then after that they are like 10. So, this is definitely the saltiest one. Uh, also, this one super smells like buffalo wings, or at least buffalo sauce. Uh, so that's uh, encouraging, you know? So, there you go, there's buffalo wings. Focus, thank you. All right, here we go. Um, let's show this off real quick. There you go. This one, it, honestly, this just looks like craft dinner cranked up a little bit. The lighting isn't going, like I said, down here, not really gonna help me, but this in natural light just looks like craft dinner, but more orange, which is kind of a wild thing to think of when you actually see craft dinner powder. So, here we go. All right. Again, there's a heat to it, so they've they've managed to kind of capture that. It's not quite there. Yeah, it's not quite there. They're close, actually. This is way closer to, like, real buffalo wings than I expected. Um, I believe this one actually does have chicken in it. It's not bad. It, like I said, it's got a heat. It's kind of got the, the right texture for it. Um, the problem is the heat kind of overtakes the actual flavor of the uh, buffalo wings. So you're not getting as much buffalo flavor. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Yeah, kind of the heat uh, sort of takes over the rest of the, the food, and it's not super hot, but that just means that the flavor is that much more mild. It's not terrible. It's it's definitely in between the, the ones I've tried so far. So yeah, it, it's... I wish it had a bit more of the actual buffalo flavor. The heat level's actually fine. I just wish everything else could kind of come up to it. Okay. And then, next up we have jalapeno. This is apparently two peppers on their arbitrary scale. This one, like, as soon as I opened the packet, it just reeked of jalapenos, and this one I think actually had the smallest ingredients list, which was basically vinegar, salt, jalapenos, preserve, that's it. So there's not a lot going up here. This is just ground jalapenos. So yeah, here we go, this is what it looks like. So basically, it just gave the entire mac and cheese a slight green tint, and then there's like the green flecks of jalapeno. So, here we go. Yep, that's that is craft dinner with jalapenos in it. That's just that's good, actually. The jalapenos. Okay, I would actually argue that the buffalo's a. Mm, a little bit uh, spicier than the jalapeno, which I wouldn't have expected, especially with their, you know, two, their two out of three, as opposed to the buffalo's one, but uh, that one's actually just straight up pleasant. I this I would eat again. This is up there with the butter chicken. In fact, this might be better than the butter chicken because this doesn't have that graininess uh, that the butter chicken suffered from. Uh, this is literally just mac and cheese with jalapeno powder added into it. Yeah, that's really good. There you go, Kraft, good job. This is a lot of Kraft dinner. Oh boy. Next up are kind of the two most wild flavors that I think anyways come in the pack. One being, or the next one being a uh, ghost pepper. And then, so there's that one. So this one, kind of similar to the jalapeno, it, uh, it just kind of made the Kraft dinner a little more red. And there's little flecks of what I assume to be ghost pepper in there. I have concerns about this one because ghost peppers are hot, and I, I mean, I'm not super looking forward to just eating something that's going to burn my mouth, but here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely more heat uh, to this one. It comes after. So it's a bit of a slower burn. I'm guessing not as pleasant uh, as the jalapeno, and not because it is spicier, which it is, because it's not like unmanageably hot, but just because like there's not much else going on with it. It's just ghost pepper flavored. So like, I'll admit, Tobias, I like the flavor of jalapenos. 
So having a healthy new uh, flavoring in my uh, carp dinner uh, doesn't really phase me. Ghost peppers taste different. They're a different pepper, right? They're going to have their own flavor profile. And uh, the, I, this one does taste like them. So if you like ghost peppers, I'm sure this is fine. In terms of heat, it is, it is hotter. I'm still experiencing it now. It is hotter and the heat does last longer. But otherwise, it's not really bringing much to the table. But that, I'll acknowledge, is a bit of a personal bias, uh, as I just don't like the flavor of ghost peppers as much. So, yeah. So, the last flavor we have is actually one that the internet already freaked out about before, which is, of course, the cotton candy uh, flavor. This came out originally uh, for Valentine's. It was a limited run. You had to buy the box off of their site and it sold out like instantly because there are other people like me out there who, uh, I don't know, want to make food crimes in their own home for Valentine's because what could be more romantic, you know? So that is the package. The It is extremely pink. My camera struggles to kind of find the color balance on that, obviously. <sighs> I'm actually more concerned about this one than I was with the ghost pepper, truth be told. But uh, here we go. Oh my god. I'm upset that I don't hate it more than I do. It's not awful. First off, I have some legitimate concerns of how they've actually managed to mask the cheese flavor in this. You cannot taste the cheese. In, in the craft dinner. Again, I'm using cheese with heavy quotes here. The orange goo that you put into it. That flavor is actually gone. Which is, from a flavor engineering perspective, amazing. Good job, craft flavor engineers. It's sweet. I've eaten something vaguely like this flavor before. It's not cotton candy. This is not cotton candy flavored. So let's just put that to bed right now. It is not cotton candy flavored. Uh, I've eaten a good amount of cotton candy in my life, and this doesn't register as cotton candy. It definitely registers, it's sweet, and it definitely registers like on a dessert profile, I guess, but uh, cotton candy, it does not. It's almost like a malted shake kind of flavor. Yeah, like a malted vanilla shake. Yeah. God, this is weird. I don't hate it. But it's also not good. God, that is... Yeah, that is so weird. It is it is sweet. It's not cloyingly sweet, so it's not like it's overcompensating for anything. It's not like blending up a bunch of Oreos and eating them, or like taffy or something like that, where it's just like, just a punch in the face of sugar. It is sweet. And it does have a bit of a multi, like, flavor and, I guess, texture, which is coming from the actual cheese. God, that is... That is wild. That is an absolutely wild flavor profile. I was... I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of expecting more uh, from the cotton candy. I was expecting it to be cloyingly sweet cotton candy flavor that would, you know, just hijack everything. But that's not the case. It's just kind of vaguely sweet. So, that was all the flavors. So, we tried the original. We tried the butter chicken which, other than the greeniness, really top tier. The poutine, very bad. The jalapeno, good. The buffalo wings, could have been better. The ghost pepper, just didn't really do it for me. And the cotton candy, I think it ranks higher than the poutine, but not super high. Uh, and then, uh, because I'm an idiot, uh, someone on Discord that I'm on said, hey, why don't you mix all of them and try that? So I did. Behold, my personal food crime. It's got a vaguely miscellaneous Italian pasta color to it. It's like kind of orangey, kind of ready. It's noodles. It definitely feels like something you'd be served at a summer camp uh, where everyone had given up because it's like the end of camp. So I tried to put equal amounts of all of the uh, flavors, excluding the bog standard, because that seemed redundant, into this, and then I gave it a good old stir. Well, let's get some of that. How's that for ASMR? All right, here we go. Oh boy. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is actually better than a bunch of the other flavors individually. There's a kind of a gestalt uh, thing happening here where it's not good. It's a lot. There's a lot of flavor going on here. But it's better individually than I would say the poutine, the cotton candy, the buffalo wings, and even the ghost pepper. So, like, it ranks in the middle of the pack, the upper half of the middle of the pack, no less, just by virtue of having other flavors to support it. Boy, this is an experience. I'm getting hit with different flavors in different parts of my tongue simultaneously. I think my brain's just shutting down. Not super surprisingly, but the butter chicken flavor is kind of coming in and doing a lot of the work here. And then there's kind of more of a generic heat as the ghost pepper, jalapeno, and even the buffalo wings. Like, oh, you can't taste those flavors so individually anymore. You can get a little bit of the jalapeno. Yeah, and then it's all kind of actually supported, shockingly, uh, by the cotton candy sweetness. So there's a, a, a little bit of sweetness to this, which actually works more than it should because most of this meal is actually quite, like, salty and savory. So, it's actually kind of got like a, a savory sweet thing going on, where the, the uh, cotton candy, which I thought was going to actually absolutely be the worst part about this, isn't. Because there's so many other flavors that aren't cotton candy, <laughs> that um, it plays a supporting role in the flavor profile, and it doesn't suck. Which, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> yeah. This is actually better than a bunch of the other flavors on their own. So, yeah, there you go. I, I ate the Chimera. And, uh, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, that's going to do it uh, for all the tastings. In terms of rankings from everything I've had here, I'm probably going to put Jalapeno at the top. It's doing the least amount of augmentation. It's craft dinner with Jalapenos in it, and it's pretty good. All things considered, it's... It's definitely better than standard craft dinner for me. It's not an obnoxious, overpowering flavor of jalapeno. It's got a heat to it. It's not bad. Uh, second to that is probably going to be the uh, butter chicken, which it's a good flavor. I don't know how accurate, again, it is to actual butter chicken, but it's good. It's got a heat to it. It's got, uh, it has actual like spices and stuff that come out and you can taste. The greeniness is still there, so I'd probably want to add a little more milk or something like that just to kind of help it along. Uh, like I said, I made everything to standard, but yeah, I, I would, if you were going to make that one, I would add a little more milk. Yeah, after that, I think just your standard craft dinner. Like I said, it's, it's fine. It's not going to win awards, but it's craft dinner. You can't, you no, know, oh, I almost said you can't screw it up. You 100% can screw it up. But if you follow the like three step instructions, you're going to get food. After that is actually going to be the amalgamation, so the the terrible golem of uh, food uh, would actually rank right there in the middle. It's not bad. I'm shocked. I'm as shocked as anyone watching this video who might be yelling at the the screen now. It has it's better than it has any right to be. That's for sure. Then after that, let's see. Probably the buffalo. Sorry, I have all the bowls behind me and I'm looking at them, jogging my memory. Probably the buffalo after that. The buffalo is close, but it's just, it's it's hot without having a lot of the buffalo flavor to it. And I think a slight adjustment to that would uh, make it pretty decent, all things considered. It's like, it's close. I think if I was going to do that, I would probably just get actual buffalo wing sauce and mix it in with the craft dinner. I think you would get a better experience from that than using the flavor pack. For that, you're going to have the ghost pepper, which again... It's not as bad, and this is a bias. Easily, the jalapeno and the ghost pepper could be switched if I was a different person. Um, it tastes like the ghost peppers, and it's hot like the ghost peppers, and it's not really doing much else. So, for me, it kind of falls down because it's not doing much else. And then, in a far last place... No, wait, oh, then we've got the cotton candy. Almost forgot about cotton candy. Cotton candy, it's not the worst one here. Like I said, it's not, it, I actually, I think I'd be more impressed if it was more cotton candy. -y. Like, if I really wish they had kind of gone to the wall with it, if only for the memes. But, as it works out, this just ends up being kind of a vaguely sweet, non-cheesy flavored, so, you know, credit words do, like, sweet pasta. It's very odd. It, my brain's upset at the idea of sweet pasta, I think, more than anything else. But I, I actually wish it had a lot more cotton candy. I wish it was very candy-y, because at least that would be more interesting than what it is. It's just kind of vaguely sugary. And then, yeah, far last place is the poutine. 
Poutine was very bad. It was chalky flavored. It didn't really carry the the gravy that you would expect for like a poutine. Like it's 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 missing the heart and soul of gravy. It's like they took gravy and they dehydrated it and then they yelled at what the result was until its spirit had left and then they packaged that up. That's what that tastes like. And quite frankly, there's not enough actual cheese flavor, which is a weird thing to say in craft dinner, but it didn't have that like cheese curd flavor to it. it. Had the saltiness, but not really much else. And yeah, just bad mouthfeel, bad smell, actually. That was the only one where when I opened the package and I smelled it, I was concerned because it smells real bad. Yeah, woof. So yeah, that's it. So if you made it all the way here, thank you for watching. If more weird food crimes come out and I can get my hands on them, I will absolutely do this again. Thanks Craft Dinner for absolutely losing your mind and making these weird flavor pouches. Some of them, not bad. Some of them, bad. Uh, that's gonna do it for me. So if you like this, of course, you know, blah, 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 like and subscribe, all that jazz. I also do Twitch streaming uh, in the evening. That's actually generally what you would see on my channel is like all my bot uploads and stuff like that. You know, twitch.tv slash cdudson. If you want to see me play video games and swear a bunch, that's generally how it goes. So yeah, that's going to do it. So as always, thank you for watching. I'm not going to say go and buy these. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> if you want to buy them, they can apparently be bought in stores. So good luck and Godspeed.